Outdoor season is officially underway, and a lot of a lot of competition, a lot of teams across all different divisions and levels at the uh, the Golden Grizzlies invite this past weekend. So, uh, to get us started, talk a little bit about you know your our notable performances from from the Wildcats and, and who stood out to you in this first outdoor meet. Yeah, I mean, definitely a good first meet, very competitive, like you said. Uh, um, of course, Crystal kind of took off where she left off. Good, really great results in the hurdles and in the in the long jump. Um, and then Chris, and then uh, Elise Wolfrath too, right, right there. I mean, those two are going to be strong for sure in the hundred hurdles. Uh, and then Maddie Zymanski too in the in the um, in the five k. Um, and then Gianna Hoving had some really two really good mid distance races, the eight hundred and the fifteen hundred. And she was she was funny because she thought the fifteen hundred wasn't that great. And I'm like, that was you know if you convert it to the mile time, it's almost exactly her PR in the mile, so, which is like 20, over 20 seconds faster than, she, 25 faster than she did in high school. So really good performance. Uh, but yeah, I mean, across the board, definitely. And then uh, Teola Harvey in the, in the javelin, she, she threw 34 some meters, which, you know, is right away in one of our top, it's like the top five at NMU and good, puts her in like numbers two in the conference already. So yeah, which I didn't even have any idea she was that good in the javelin. So, <laughs> so that was exciting. Yeah, so I, I mean, across the board, definitely some 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 great early results. You have Crystal. You have Elise. I mean, like textbook one A, one B. You talk about having two competitors like that, especially at the same event. Like, how often do you get to have two, like I said, two teammates that can push each other in and get to that next level in, like, in the same event too? Yeah, not very often. I mean, it's it's really impressive. So it's going to be fun to see what they, you know, I think both of them have the potential to make it to the national championships even in, in that event. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't happen that often. And then we have a few other pretty good hurdlers too um, that are right behind them. Mm -hmm. So Teola is another one that's, that's not that far. The other one that really stood out was Anna Larson in the 400 hurdles. I mean, she was only a second off the school record, and she had, that's a two-second PR for her, which is huge for the first meet. It was a little bit windy, and so, yeah, she, lo she looked great. And then Sydney Romps and Akira were right behind her. So, I mean, all our, our hurdle group across the board is really, really strong. So, yeah, fun to see, and we don't, yeah, you usually don't have that kind of a, that kind of a two of them that, that far at the top in one event, so. One thing that kind of stood out to me as I was looking, reading the recap and looking over the results and, and then comparing and kind of looking over the, the roster on paper is that a lot of these, these names that we keep seeing and that we keep talking about, a lot of them are underclassmen. So yeah. in a sport or in a discipline, I guess, across track and field where it's so easy is maybe not the right word, but you can look through what results and it's easy to quantify or to see results on paper. Are the young members of your team kind of showing the progress that you would hope as they develop and they've been in, in your system and in your program for a while? Yeah, for sure. And, that, and that's, the, that's the exciting thing is, yeah, like you said, freshmen and sophomores. So um, exciting to see what they're going to do in the next couple of years. And then we have some really good recruits coming in for next year. So, I mean, our team's going to be strong in the next couple of years, just all across the board, which is exciting. But, yeah, it's it's – they, they definitely are making, I mean, in year to year and season to season, they've already made improvements or stay or, you know, are at where they, they, they came off of the indoor, which is, which is a great sign too, because we're just going to get faster throughout the outdoor. And it was a good, it was good weather. Um, probably one of the best as far as the early outdoor meet, but um, still windy and a little bit cool. So, you know, the times will just also get, the results will just get better after this. They usually do throughout the outdoor season. Well, Coach, you touched on the weather, and that was actually something I, I kind of wanted to ask you about. So when you get into outdoor season, when you go into a meet or you go into a day of competition, does do those conditions at all like affect your, your mindset as a runner? Like, say, and, and Kobe could probably speak to this, but like <laughs> as a football player, if you wake up on, on game day and you see that it's going to be a big storm or that you're going to get snow, you're like, all right, we're going to play in a funny weather game or there's going to be some crazy stuff going on today. Like, does, Is there like kind of an equivalent to that in, in track and field? Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's you just have to mentally prepare, and that's the thing with outdoors. That's another variable to, as part of it. But you know, our our student athletes are so we're used to like a little bit of adversity, just with you know, kind of what we have to train. Sometimes on the turf, sometimes on the track, sometimes nowhere or along the <laughs> wherever we can find. And so, and outdoor, and my distance kids go outdoor all winter, so they're used to the 
you know, the different weather. Um, but yeah, it definitely, but we try to, you know, talk about, you know, just keeping a positive mindset. We have a good setup. We got a new tent now with, uh, you know, big tent with walls and they all have parkas. And so <laughs> I told, and I told him, I said, even though it looks like it's going to be 47 to 50 degrees, still bring your parka. And they all were glad they did because it's, it, you know, with the wind, it still felt a little, a little bit cold. So um, they stayed warm and, and yeah. And then that's the hard part too about outdoors. The meets are so long and, and sometimes they fall behind. So, you know, they give you a time schedule, but sometimes it's a little bit behind, a little bit ahead. So you really are kind of, kind of timing like when your warm up is going to be and uh, trying to make that, you know, learn how to get that kind of perfect so you're ready for for the event. So that brings us to this weekend with the uh, Tiffin Track Carnival coming up. Uh, Coach, kind of your thoughts, expectations uh, going into this competition down in Ohio? Yeah, it's an interesting event. They're doing like, it's almost like a two meet event. So there's like the full meet on the first day with the distance events are in the evening. Um, which is actually good because it's supposed to be like 78 degrees. So, um, yeah, we won't be quite uh, acclimated to that, you know. So <laughs> it'll be good for the distance kids to have the evening where it cools down a little bit. Um, but it's a full day, so starting at, you know, 10 in the morning with some of the field events, and it goes, the, the 10K is at uh, like 10.40 p.m. So, yeah, long day. Uh, but, yeah, excited. So I'm going to have a couple kids run the 10K, uh, and we'll have – you know, everybody will get a chance again to compete for that whole day. And then the next day, there's a few more events, um, some of the same events, but also some relays too. There's a sprint medley relay, that, which isn't in our, you know, conference or nationals, but some fun relays and, and a four by eight hundred meter relay. Uh, so it'd be a chance to really compete, get some competitions in, kind of, you know, test out like the warm up, the whole, you know, the warmer weather too. Uh, so expecting some good results again this year, this this weekend to see what we can do and and move forward to the you know it's it's not that far away till we get to conference and and then uh, nationals 